Hey there guys, this is Malorian and this will be a little bit of a War Machine 101 and also a rant. And what it's going to be all about is the idea of the crutch. Now, a crutch is a term that's used in a lot of different gaming systems and sometimes it's used for something where it's like, okay, yeah, dead on, this is what it really should mean. And then other times it's kind of like diluted down where it's more just somebody just complaining. So what we're going to be doing here today is we're going to be talking about the idea of what a crutch is, the the whole idea behind it and the two extremes of where it really applies and where it's really just more complaining and then also kind of use some examples of some things that are happening right now that are talking about crutches and we'll hopefully use this to you know if you can identify crutches you can improve your own play absolutely but let's get right into it what actually is a crutch well it really is just like what a crutch is in real life, which is why it's called that. It's something you lean on to get on by. And so in a game, something that might be a crutch is a, a key piece that you always use to try and get that win every single time. If I am that Kane 2 player where every single time this game's only going to be a 1 if I win with Kane 2, you know, that could be a crutch. It's like if this one piece goes away, I have nothing holding me up. Everything's based on this one model. Uh, this could go to other things, right? Where like the storm wall. It, so you'll say like, oh, in Signar, you just take the storm wall all the time. That's a crutch. You know, this because you, it's so good. You just take it all the time and then that's all you just kind of lean on. You don't have to do anything else. And you can start telling there where it starts getting into that blame game, right? Like, oh, you just take it because of this, and you'd be a crappy player is the implication if you didn't have it, right? Uh, another one's like, oh, Menoth, your, your choir is a crutch. Because you take this, you don't even know how to deal with keeping your jack safe and all this stuff, right? And it's, it's these types of things that you have to kind of watch for because identifying what a crutch is in yourself or even in your opponent can be very very good but just throwing around the idea of like this is a crutch this is a crutch can also just be really infuriating and just trolling and really bad for the game so let's talk about how identifying a crutch or how a crutch actually for, let's talk about this first how a crutch can be bad for you so I mean what's bad about the storm wall the storm wall is amazing it's for point for point it's puts out awesome uh, output has really good toolbox options uh, it's a big huge base you can hide behind can't be knocked down there's so many good things about this storm wall why would it be a crutch and why is it a bad thing well the whole idea is that if all I just do is storm wall storm wall storm wall all the time well first of all if I ever lose that storm wall I'm in a lot of trouble, right? If all of a sudden they just culminate and some really big, huge attacks on him, or a bronze back just gets into there and destroys it, it's like, whoa, game over. I don't know how to win without my storm wall. So that's the first part of it. If, if my whole game plan revolves around needing this storm wall and it, that piece is taken away, well, I'm in a lot of trouble then. Another thing, too, is that if I'm so focused on just the storm wall, I'm not getting experience with anything else. I'll tip this up for a second, but there's a bajillion more jacks up there, and they're not bad. You know, they're still really good jacks, but if all I do all the time is take Stormwall, 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 I'm not going to get any experience with those other jacks. And depending on how your meta changes and what might actually be good for you to take, if I have no experience with those jacks, well, guess what? I just can't really take advantage of that. Um, that can even be taking part in a game when you have a real mixed list with these infantry and all these other things. If I really say, use my storm wall to crutch on, like, okay, I need this storm wall to, to do this task for me and to this and this, and it falls. Well, if I don't have any practice with the other components of my army having to take up that role, I'm just going to fall apart. I'm probably going to go on tilt. I'm going to not play properly, and I'm just going to spiral down until I lose. However, if I lean off of that crutch and I practice a lot more with these other models then when it comes up we're like hey I still want to take the storm wall because it's awesome but if in those times where the bronze back gets through and destroys it I can fall back to plan B and then kind of keep on going it's gonna hurt you know losing the storm wall is never a good thing however I'll be better prepared for it uh, there's less of a chance I'll go on tilt and I can just keep on going now identifying this crutch in yourself is absolutely necessary. 
uh, using a personal experience, something I can definitely say is a crutch for me is saying like the Press Gangers and Alexia One. If you guys look at my list, I have those in like almost every single list and it's always just spam 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 dudes go 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 well if that's all I practice all the time and to be fair I do do it a lot uh, but if that's all I did all the time every single game well what happens when I play against a game where maybe first of all maybe they just get some good uh, dice and just kill off those models so it's like oh wow I'm not jamming the way I thought it was gonna be Alexia's dead huh what am I gonna do another thing is if I just come up against something that very specifically counters them, you know, they take away my tough, uh, they lock down my models, let's say it's the Morgul 2 tier now, where uh, I don't get advanced to point, everything's further back and I'm not jamming like I'm supposed to, right? Any of these things, you know, again, if, if I run into it and I'm not prepared playing a different way, I'm going to go on tilt, I'm going to make mistakes, and I'm going to spiral down until I actually lose. So, if you notice that you have these crutches, again, these crutches might be very awesome things. I do very great things with the Press Gangers, very great things with the Lexi One. However, understanding that they're a very key part to my army, I want to start looking at other ways to do the same things with other stuff. I want to make sure that, hey, you know, just because I love Press Gangers, maybe I want to try out some different strategies, trying a, a different taste and more experience with other parts of the game. You know, maybe I'm just going to say, you know what, for this casual gaming night, these press gangers are not coming. They're going to stay home. Uh, Alexia is going to stay home. And I'm just going to have to make a list without them. And that whole process can even really open something up. Where if all of a sudden you're looking at your list, and normally whenever you're doing your list building, it's automatic. Just, okay, double press gangers, Alexia one, and you just keep on going from there. If you take that out, you start realizing, huh, you know, I, I could add this, and, uh, well, you know, if I did this, I could do this. That's a pretty good combo. You know, just going through that exercise of making a list without your usual crutches can be very good and also make a better list for you. And it's, it's it can be very uh, uh, freeing and really improve your gameplay. Now, how about noticing crutches in your opponent? Well, this can also be kind of mixed in or just, you know, target priority however if I know for my opponent man he really relies on this unit he really you know this is his number one thing he uses all the time he always tries to get the win with this well try and find a way to either mitigate it or take it out because again if, if they always say like oh Malak Karn's my guy you know I just gotta line things up I'll get Malak Karn in there he'll get the assassination and I'll win again and then all of a sudden you focus on Malak Karn you kill him again might put them on tilt, make them spiral down into a defeat. You know, if you really take that away, they don't realize like, oh wow, all my other pieces were really a distraction just to give get Mullet Car where he's supposed to go, and now they're all out of place. Oh damn, <laughs> you know, I wasn't really thinking of losing this key piece of what I was depending on everything. So look for those in your opponents. And again, it's a little bit of target priority. I mean, Mullet Car is always a good thing to kill. But again, if, if there's just these key pieces that you know that they rely on all the time, go after those and, and kill them. So that's really the crutch. You know, it do watch out for sometimes though if people just say to you like oh yeah you just take this as a crutch it's like no man it's awesome I take it because it's good and I practice a lot of other things okay ignore that but when it's real go with it so a good example of this and where I'm probably going to a little bit of a rant now right now is a thing with uh, the, the Haley 2 um, <laughs> you know nerf that they call it the errata that came out and when this happened, I went out there and was like, okay guys, you know, this isn't so bad, things have changed, uh, but still, Haley 2 is really good, Haley 3 is really good, you know, Garmin's changed, but we just gotta change our game plan. We're Signar, we have all of Signar to deal with, and all the mercenaries. All these models we have at our disposal, I'm sure this little change is not going to really do much. And man, things exploded. I'm like, oh no, we're now one of the worst factions. We have no answer to Legion. We just can't beat Legion anymore. And I'm going on there like, what are you guys talking about? You know, I, I go on there and it's just... I have no problem with Legion. When I go up against Legion, it's usually kind of more of a free win. I just go and I take my cane too, which again might be my crutch who knows, but 
Kane 2 can shoot down almost every caster you have. My whole dude swarm uh, tactic that I do pretty much shuts down all their best casters. You know, I never have a problem with them. Oh, no, no, you can't do it. He just dies. What? Really? Did you ever play? No, I haven't played Kane 2 in like a couple of years, but he just dies all the time. How do you even know? You have no experience. Oh, no, Haley 2. Haley 2 was the only way that we could beat Lilith 2 and Veil 2 because with, with her feet, you could always make it so that, you know, the Veil will have to activate first, and then that way they they can't really get the whole feet thing going on. Same thing with Lilith 2. You make uh, all the beasts activate first, and then they don't get the feet benefit. It's like, okay. I realized that, that was awesome, but it's gone now, and there are so many other options. Look at them. You know, Siege is a great drop. Kane 2 is a great drop. Drop. Haley 2 is still a very good drop. Cray, you can look at Cray. He can still be a good drop, right? <laughs> we're Signar. Legion, their big thing is you don't like being shot down. So if we're looking at Veil 2, anything can shoot them down, right? We got stuff everywhere. Take whatever caster you want to make it better. And against Lilith 2, okay, look at something that's going to take away stealth and uh, just deal with it, right? But it's like I said, it's like going completely on tilt where they had this crutch where all the time Haley 2 was their answer to Veil 2 and Lilith 2 and they've probably played that matchup over and over and over again and they knew just what to do. Oh yeah, Lilith 2, Veil 2, pff, bring on my Haley 2, pop my feet, you can't do anything, I kill you. And now that that crutch is gone and that they have no practice with anything else, like I said, they're on tilt, they're, they're just given up and... They're like, yeah, we might just change factions. We don't even play not Signar anymore because we're all the one of the worst factions. And it's just ridiculous. So there's a little mini rant they were thrown at the end of it. But uh, yeah, going for both par parts, you know, realize your crutches. <laughs> Find that there's lots and lots of options in this game and practice those other options so that when your plan A falls apart, you just go to plan B. So there you go, guys. Here's your War, War Machine 101 and a little bit of a rant, and we'll catch you later. Bye.